Any state, any entity, any ideology that fails to recognize the worth, the dignity, the rights of man, that state is obsolete. It has one iron rule. Logic is an enemy and truth is a menace. Well, this isn't much going on here. You got, you got some TSA agents back here. This is wide open to the public to look at. So, not exactly sure. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight TSA agents right here, just standing around. Oh, here comes a, a guest customer coming through to do his TSA appointment. So this is what, from what we saw from the other side. Once they make it through here, they can go on up to the second level. They've got an escalator there, stairs. Or the other one looks like for the third level. They've got a website up there, flyhuntsville.com, and that is, please ready your next adventure. It's got a phone number, 256-258 or 9, it looks like, and then 1944, I don't know. This must be their check-in pad here where they uh, clock in to do duty. So they've clocked in, and now they're sitting on the table over there. That's what we pay people to do. We overstaff. And then we got a whole bunch of people sitting around on the public dime. Not really doing much of anything, I don't think. I think we have a gentleman here that's coming in. And I think one that's already made his way through. We got a couple of TSA agents. There was one lounging over there, another one over there. There's a lot of TSA agents here for a not busy day. This is a lot of money we're expending here. Here comes a couple more. Walking down towards us. More and more coming in. So, I could see... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can see eleven now. Twelve, thirteen. I can see thirteen now. Fourteen. Fourteen TSA agents. I think that's more than the amount of guests I've seen um, come in here. So this is what your activity is most of the day as a TSA agent. A couple of people work, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine standing around. 
looking busy, but not really looking busy at all. I mean, you can't really look busy with your hands behind your back. So. So what I noticed is like with most road crews, you have a couple of people working and then you've got 10 people standing around on the clock. Right. <laughs> and I don't know, I wonder, I was thinking, you know, with, with, like you said, the ones over here working and then the ones over here sitting down, I wonder if it's like a shift change. I Well, I just saw a whole bunch of people clock in, so... I mean, it could be a shift change, but it's only 11 a.m. Right. I mean, when's the airport here open? Six? So I, I, mean, I don't know. I don't, uh, we got a cam back right there, though. But um, I don't know about the, you know, what hours that they work, what their shift hours are, or anything like that. But that would be one of my guesses is like a shift change. You know, you work, say, if it's four hour shifts, you come in at seven, work till 11, take your break, then, you know, go to a different terminal and and swap with somebody over there after your break, and then they go to break. I mean, I, I think this is the only checkpoint for this. For this the airport. airport. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everything good? So, you excuse me? What are you doing taping our. our, our Sit up here. Is there something going on? Are you seeing somebody off? What are you doing? Hey, Jeffrey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. No, we're good. Thank you, though. So why are you up here taping our... Are you just... Can you work with me and tell me what you're doing? Well, we're journalists. We're just gathering content on this stuff. Yeah. Right. So we already know TSA website allows okay. us to record. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. So. We, it just concerns us when you walk. Yeah, yeah, Usually yeah. most of the time, though, when they're seeing somebody off, they're waving and they're... Right, 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 right. So they saw you out here and they're like, whoa, wait a minute, what's right. going on? So yeah. we're just concerned. Hey, we're going to be coming. Right. Yeah, no, no, we don't want to bother anybody. Yeah, we don't want to distract you from your business. We're, okay. we're, 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 we're like we're nature guys. photographs that don't ask the lion to photograph them. You know what I mean? We okay. want to catch you guys in your natural state of work. Hey, we, right. we just want to check. And see right. what's going yeah, that's on. We fine. appreciate y'all. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. Appreciate Absolutely. You out active professional. All right, thank you. Have yes, a good day. Thank you. You too, folks. Soon. Now, you, you were saying that this is the only uh, checkpoint check in for for this the airport. airport. Yeah, because all the gates go through here. See gates one through 12 up there. OK, so so everybody that's flying comes through here, gets yep. checked and then goes up there to their to the respective gates or yeah. gate or wherever they're supposed to go. OK, yep. That's good. I've never been in this airport. Me either. So, yeah, Me either. But it. as small as it is, yeah, you I get, see it now. Yeah, it's not like Midway or Atlanta or something where right. you know Third there's. Level is a lounge. Mm -hmm. Second level is gate one through twelve. Okay, I got you. Yep. I didn't see that airplane hanging up there on the. Yeah, neither did I. I don't know what that is. Looks like a drone. Yep. All right, guys. So, um, Huntsville, Alabama. We're here. We're at the international airport. They came out, asked some questions, and uh, and went back in. So, they're good. They're